we are an electrical performance laboratory. And as I take you around the room, you can see the electrical performance of the HDMI cable through network analyzers, through eye pattern tests, through uh, frequency, low distortion, uh, digital cable testing, to interpair, intrapair skew testing, toward uh, impedance testing, and all of the things that assure that a monster cable has all of the proper performance. This gear is not cheap. There's probably over $3 million worth of gear in this laboratory that we take and we do our R&D, but also we do our testing after production. So this is our test setup for the jitter and eye pattern test. So here you see a uh, signal generator that is generating the eye pattern test through the monster cable. Uh, you can see here through the test setup, rated at 30 gigabits per second. This is our jitter analyzer. And when you introduce jitter into the signal, things get really hairy. You can see here is the monster. It's got a near perfect eye pattern test. So here's a test setup for audio, analog audio and digital audio. So at the top, uh, we're putting all of our cables through an analog audio, audio precision analyzer to measure for THX specifications. And the bottom one, you see one of our fiber optic cables undergoing a THX specification to make sure we got low jitter and absolute perfect sound as we put a sweep from 20 to beyond 20,000 hertz and test for the frequency response and the distortion in all of these cables. So here we have a very precise machine that measures time domain reflectometry. And what that is, is measuring the differences between the different conductors inside of an HDMI wire. Now you've got some very acute timing differences and the precision of how the inner conductors are made is extremely important to the performance of the cable. So it's gonna measure three things. Differential impedance, which is the impedance differences between the three conductors. Intrapair skew, which is the difference between each of the two conductors within the three conductors. And the last thing to measure is what we call interpair skew distortion, because you've got three different conductors and the difference between those three conductors is also important. So this is a network analyzer where we take the HDMI cable and we measure the crosstalk between all the different conductors. That means one conductor talking to the other conductor. And you want to keep that crosstalk to a minimum. And you can see here as you come closer, the monster THX HDMI cable through the jig, and you can see it's measuring the two different pairs of cables through this little network analyzer. And you can see the differential that's plotted on the scope. This machine also measures the attenuation between the conductors. And you can see here, you got the uh, HDMI cables measured the input versus the output. The diagonal line is the reference. That is the 1.3 category 2 line that you should not go below. And above is the actual performance. You can see we're well above the required minimum. So showing that Monster has less attenuation than other HDMI cables. Here we have the mechanical testing lab. And as you walk around the room, I'm going to take you through a little tour of each of these machines and what they do to measure the mechanical integrity of the cable. After we've handled the cable, after we pull it through numbers of insertions, and after we bend and rip that cable up, does it still pass the signal? And will it do it over time? Here we're looking at the mechanical integrity of the HDMI connector. And you can see under a very powerful microscope, the end of the HDMI connector so we can measure and look at the integrity of the pins on the end. So this magnifies it. You can see here on the screen where we can look at how precise the pins are aligned because after all it is a mechanical connection. And if there's any misalignment in the pins, you'll start to get timing distortions and attenuation, which is bad for video. So this little tester is measuring the insertion loss after repeated insertions. Because after all, you don't want the connector to operate just once. You want it to do many thousands of times. In fact, what we're doing here in our research is uh, inserting and taking out 
the connection 10,000 times under a very, very precise measurement, as you can see here, to make sure we have high integrity after repeated insertions and pulling out. So an HDMI cable not only has to perform well on the test bench, it has to perform well in actual action. So for all of you custom installers who are pulling this thing through walls, and uh, for all of you testers who pull cables in and out, uh, we have a stress test here that tests the integrity of the connection itself after numerous bends. So the specification usually is around 500 bends uh, as a minimal specification. We are tested to 4,000 bends before any kind of a failure occurs. These are conductors on the inside, and if you see a 90 degree bend, it's a severe flexing of the integrity of the connection. So let's take a really close look at how these connections are done. And you can see that there's a weight, prescribed weight, and electrodes that measure the continuity, as well as the counter who is counting exactly how many times this thing is flexing. Machine where we can actually look inside the cable and inside the connector. And you can see here, uh, if you bend down, we're looking at the inside of the monster connector to check the integrity of all of the uh, different conductors as it's soldered. But also, we are able to look at on a stress test when we actually pull on the cable if the inner strands of the cable are indeed broken. So just like Superman with X-ray vision, we're able to look inside the cable and see what's actually going on. So the cable that you get and install, you know is high integrity. Now it's great to have all of that testing available to us as we make sure we build the highest quality cables possible. But the final analysis is what does it look like on the screen. And here you see the Monster Test Laboratory where we actually put the cables through testing, also compared with other lesser cables. I'm going to take you down here uh, to a cable that you can see uh, what a bad cable looks like. And here is it at 1080i. This particular cable is not a monster cable being tested. And if we look at the picture, you'll see a jittering and you'll see a flickering from time to time. That's what happens when the signal cannot sync with the source and has trouble passing all of that uh, digital data signal. Yet when you come down here, you'll see a monster test fixture where we can compare two different HDMI cables and sometimes we'll put a uh, competitive, uh, not so well made, made cable. Uh, in this case, it is PlayStation 3. But we do a lot of switching in and out on 1080p, 1080i sources with uh, Blu-ray movies and also Blu-ray games. So here it is from uh, the beginning to the end where you'll see Monster testing all of the cables completely from beginning to end and finally to the video content and see if the picture we promise you is the picture you actually get at home.